Hi there folks, and welcome to Buy, Hold, Sell, brought to you by Livewire Markets. My name's James Marley, and today we're gonna to be looking at five of the most shorted stocks on the ASX. Have a bit of a hunt around, see if there is some value there. Here, joining me on the show today, I have June Bay Lou from Tribeca, and Dave Mobley from Clear Life. And June Bay, I'm gonna start with you, Uranium player, Boss Energy, short interest of around 15%. Is it a buy, hold, or a sell? It's a buy. Um, we've got a team of analysts looking at the uranium very specially. Um, and, um, you know, this business has gone through it, its challenges, had a bit of production issues, a bit of management sell down. I think, um, you know, right now we are seeing uranium price, um, you know, around the world has been reasonably stable and pretty well supported. And yet the uranium equities hasn't really come back. Uh, hence why we see still such high short interest. And we do think it's at very, um, you know, at, at a very high risk of being short squeak, which which means a uh, short seller will have to buy back their, uh, their shares in one Go and uh, so we do see that risk quite material. Okay, buy from June Bay. David, shares are down 26% over the past 12 months. Buy, hold or sell on Boss Energy? Uh, Boss is a hold for us. Um, we are very positive on um, uranium supply demand fundamentals. We like the commodity top-down view. Just uh, commodity companies in ramp up, we prefer to avoid. Uh, and that's another one that saw a bit of insider selling. So we, we prefer other names in the space. Okay, next up, we're gonna be talking about IDP education. A stock I know you followed for, for quite some time. A former darling, it's had uh, a few stumbles, share price down 39% for the year, buy, hold or sell? Yeah, it's a reluctant hold um, from us. I think there's a really a strong medium term opportunity for patient capital in that, in that stock. However, short term, they have significant headwinds. The uh, regulatory um, pushback around international students globally has been quite strong and they're obviously impacted by that, but they still have very strong market position in both high stakes English language testing and student placement. So patient capital buy, but short term hold. Okay, June Bay, 15% short position on IDP education, a buy, hold or a sell? Look, I, I sell it. You know, I do agree with the long-term story. Um, uh, I think this company, a good position and all that, but for the next 12 months, 12 to 18 months, could even be two years, um, you know, it's key markets are going through the policies where they reduce student numbers. And now I know analysts expecting somewhat of these to come through, but on the way down, operating deleverage or operating deleverage, no one really can forecast properly. We've seen again and again with every company. So, you know, when revenue fall quite a bit, um, you know, the cost, uh, the, the cost doesn't go down as much, especially with a company like, um, you know, like IDP. Um, and, uh, and then the profit can evaporate. So I think in that kind of environment, very, very hard to, uh, to really know how much earnings downside there is simply because of the fixed cost base. Um, you know, I think it's just too challenging to hold it with that kind of revenue environment. Okay, so that's the sell. All right, let's stay with technology. We're gonna go to online classifieds, classifieds job ads, seek. Um, it's been a bit of a tough environment, unemployment's pretty low still, short interest of 7%. Buy, hold or a sell? It's a buy. So uh, look, I think you know it's underperformed meaningfully uh, against others uh, such as REA or car sales. Uh, clearly, its earning was being downgraded because you know the job market and the C job index has been pretty weak. We are starting to see, to see green shoots, and should that actually start to be consistent? Last three months has been very positive, and uh, should that con continue its trend? I think this company absolutely will have earnings, quite a significant earnings upside. And aside from that, even based on the current forecast, um, you know this company is cheaper than cheaper as it's ever been. So, you know, with the, um, I think with a 12 month view, this company has a far higher, um, you know, share price upside compared to the other classifieds. Okay. It's really lagged the, 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 the peers, as June Bay said, in the tech index, buy, hold or sell on site. Yeah, it's a buy from us as well. Um, as June Bay highlights, um, we think it's probably bottom of the cycle for the job ads um, on the Australian side of the business. Um, one of the things we've been looking at is stripping out, um, they've got a VC fund there called the Seed Growth Fund. If you strip that out of the valuation, it's actually even more attractive from a, from a valuation perspective. And, and if you're positive on um, private markets opening up and asset realizations, there could be further upside from that. Okay. Now we've asked both our guests to bring along a stock that's got a high short interest that they think the short sellers could have wrong, might need to scramble to cover. David, I'll, I'll start with you. What's the one that the short is getting wrong? We're quite negative on lithium, but I would flag Pilbara has been one that's, that's got a bit of a risk for squeeze. 20% um, of the free float shorted, that's about 18 days to cover. Um, whilst lithium is negative at the moment, we are starting to see some signs of rationality come in. We've seen very expensive mines, high cost mines starting to shut in. Um, and so Pilbara has got net cash balance sheet. It's quite a good quality mine with low cost. And if I had a preference in the space, it'd be that one. Okay, June Bay, what about you? What's the one that is heavily shorted that you think um, you know, might have a, a better outlook, could, could be a, a candidate for a squeeze? 
Look, you can't go past Fly Center now. I must say, I must say, I might be digging a hole for myself because they've got an <laughs> update coming soon. So, look for the Fly Center. Recently, had a downgrade, um, you know, slight downgrade to the earnings outlook. Travel sector is sort of slowing somewhat after many multiple years of boom states, and now still growing, but not as much as what some consensus is expecting. So, com while company hasn't really uh, officially give a guidance for 2025, they said they will come through uh, with their AGM, and um, you know, I think the, with the share price down 30 percent in the last few weeks. Um, you know, that is well and truly priced in. This company is not expensive and consensus still have not expected putting the 2% target that they put out there. Um, and should they get anywhere closer, um, you know, there's quite a lot of upgrade. But look, for the time being, it's a little bit weaker, but I'll be using it as a buying opportunity. I think consumer's doing fine. Travel's doing all right. It's just slowing down some more and it's not expensive consumer company. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Buy, Hold, Sell. Remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're adding fresh content just like this every single week.